Welcome back y'all. In this video, you're going to learn how to disassemble and assemble the Stoger M3000. The first thing that you're going to do is unscrew the magazine cap. Sometimes this is also referred to as the barrel nut. You're just going to twist that counterclockwise and it should pop right off. Once you've got that removed, you're going to slightly compress the bolt. And once you've done that, you can actually grab the foregrip and the barrel and just pull it and wiggle it a little bit and it should pop right out. And then you can let that bolt go back forward. Now you can separate that foregrip from your barrel here just by pulling it down and back. Once you've got the magazine cap removed and you've separated the foregrip from the barrel, you're ready to go ahead and pull out the bolt handle. To do this, you're just gonna need a pair of pliers. You're gonna compress that bolt just a little bit in to release the pressure off of that bolt handle. Grab it nice and firm with a pair of pliers and just wiggle and pull it out. It should pop out pretty easily. And at that point, your entire bolt assembly is gonna come out. And right there you can see the bolt handle. Now the bolt assembly is going to slide out real easy as you can see there. Make sure you keep some pressure on it because if you just let it go that spring is going to push it out pretty quick. So we're just going to set the bolt assembly aside for now. Now you can go ahead and pull off your recoil spring. After that you can pull out your plug. Both of those should slide off relatively easily. Now that you've got those two out, you're ready to remove your trigger assembly. In order to do that, you're just going to flip this over and you're going to see the trigger guard pin right there. It's a small black pin. You can use a pair of pliers or even a small screwdriver just to push this thing out the other side. You really just need to get it started on this side and then you can flip it over and pull it out through the other side. Your trigger guard pin should pull out pretty easily by hand. In some rare cases, you may need to grab a pair of pliers to help you out with that if it's corroded or just a little dirty or something. At this point, your trigger assembly should come out pretty easy. And right there is your trigger assembly. You can go ahead and set that aside and we're going to move on to the bolt. Now you can move on to disassemble the bolt. This is your bolt assembly. It really has two main pieces, the bolt itself and then the bolt slide. So right here, I'm gonna take the bolt off of the bolt slide, set the bolt slide down. Your bolt should compress relatively easily and your firing pin should compress as well. If these are not pushing in easily, then you may need to lubricate or clean it up a little bit. First, compress the firing pin. Grab a small screwdriver and you're going to pull out the firing pin retaining pin. You put that screwdriver underneath it, pop it up, and then you should be able to pull it out by hand. And that is the firing pin retaining pin. Now put your hand in front of the firing pin before you let it pop out because the firing pin spring can cause it to shoot out and you don't want to lose that. It's going to be hard to find. But there's your firing pin and your firing pin spring. You can leave the spring on unless you're going to clean it. Now you can remove your bolt locking pin. You're going to flip it over and you're going to see a small hole right here. You can use a small screwdriver or just a metal rod to shove down in there. If this is your first time taking this apart, that's going to be really tight and you're going to have to hit it either with a hammer or a pair of pliers to get it popped out. Once you've done this five or ten times, you've broken in the gun, and you put some, some shells through it, it's going to come out much, much easier. So don't be surprised if you have to hit it a lot harder than what you see me doing right here. But once you get it starting to come out, it should come out pretty easily. You can either leave it like this or go ahead and pull it all the way out. Either way, the bolt should come out now. And right there is your bolt. You can go ahead and set that aside. You can pull out your bolt locking pin like I talked about earlier, set that aside. And at this time, your inertia spring should just fall right out of the bolt housing when you flip it up. And there's your inertia spring right there. And that is a full disassembly of your Stoger M3000. At this point, you can clean it, do whatever maintenance you need to do, and then stay tuned and I'll show you how to put it all back together. To put it back together, you're going in reverse order. First, put that inertia spring back into the bolt housing. 
after that you can take your bolt pin and just get it seated in there just barely so you still have room to put your bolt in now when you're putting your bolt in you're going to see there's a little groove on the back end here what you want to do is have that facing towards the bottom of the bolt housing and you're going to see it slide through that little hole right there so if it's blocking that hole, you're not going to be able to get that locking pin back in there. You can see right there, I didn't have it lined up correctly and that locking pin fell out. So I readjusted it there and I popped it right back in. That's what it should be doing. You should be able to push it in, pull it out, and it, that bolt should not come out. Now you can go ahead and put your firing pin and your firing pin spring back in there. You're just going to compress it level, then take your firing pin retaining pin and push it in. Now that your bolt is fully assembled, your firing pin, you should be able to push it in and it should pop back out. Your bolt, same thing, but when you push it in, it should twist a little one way or the other. If they're both doing that, then you have put your bolt back together correctly. And at that time, you can go ahead and put it back on your bolt slide. There's a groove there for your bolt to sit on. Just make sure that it's facing the right direction. Now that your bolt assembly is put back together, you can put back in your trigger assembly. If you're having trouble putting in your trigger assembly, press this bolt release right here and it's going to open it up a little bit so that your trigger assembly will fit in there a little bit easier. I usually don't have any issues, but if I do, just push that in. Now that you've got the trigger assembly set in there, you can go ahead and grab your trigger guard pin. But before you put that in, one thing that you do want to check is to make sure that it's lined up correctly. You should be able to see daylight all the way through your receiver just like that. Once you know you can see that, go ahead and put that pin in. It'll just pop in by hand. One other thing to note at this time is your magazine tube bushing. That's this little plastic piece right here. Just make sure that that's lined up properly before you move forward and try to put your recoil spring back on. At this point, you can put your plug back in. Once the plug is in, go ahead and put your recoil spring back on. Now you can put your bolt assembly back on the weapon. Make sure that that bolt is lined up properly on that slide. Put that slide over your magazine tube. You're gonna slide the bolt into the chamber there. You just have to play with it a little bit to get it to fit. Once it's in there, you can grab your bolt handle now your bolt handle make sure that it's facing the right direction whenever you try to put it in there but you should just be able to use your hand and pop it in you're going to press pretty hard and you will hear it pop once you hear that pop and it actually sets in there just like that your bolt will stay in the chamber now you're ready to put your barrel back on First, go ahead and take your forend or your foregrip and attach it to your barrel. It's going to slide onto that little groove right there and just pop it on there. Now, you want to do these together. Don't try to do your barrel and your forend separately. Put them on there together. They're going to slide in pretty easily. And what you can do is just wiggle it to try to get it. If it pushes your bolt back, you're going to need to reset it a little bit. Wiggle it around until your bolt is forward. As you can see right there with the bolt forward, it slides in relatively easily. There is a little groove right here. Make sure that the groove on your forend lines up with the groove in your receiver. That's going to sit in real nicely. If it's popped out even just a little bit, you're not going to be able to get that magazine cap back on. So make sure that those are lined up really well. Once they're lined up and seated, you can put your magazine cap back on. That's just going to screw clockwise in and you're just going to do it hand tight there's no need to make it any tighter than that now that your stoger m3000 is fully assembled you can run through a quick functions check lock the bolt to the rear send it home put the weapon on fire go ahead and pull the trigger now lock the bolt to the rear send it home release the trigger it should click and then you should be able to pull the trigger again if you can do that then you have correctly reassembled your stoger m3000 i hope this video helped y'all out we appreciate y'all watching today if you learned something like and subscribe to our channels and we'll see y'all next time